Stop. I'll slap you if you say a three. <laughs> uh, I'm a bag at you right here. Tres! Uh. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another grocery store episode of Fung Bros Food in Espanol! Hola, hola, hola! We are covering and trying all the food from the hot deli of the top Mexican market in LA, Vallarta. 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 In me, LA. Me llamo Nelson. 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 Is that with a C O N? Nelson? Nelson. Nelson. Okay. Basically, what we're trying to say is that we don't speak Spanish, guys, but we are going to do our best. Vallarta is the number one Mexican supermarket chain in Southern California. And it was designed to be the modernized Mexican market, sort of in a way, the same way that 99 Ranch and H Mart and Mitsua were designed to modernize. It's supposed to provide it at an elevated level for people that are, you know, first generation from Mexico, but also for the second, third, fourth generation that have that heritage, but also are looking for something mixed with the American culture. So we're about to eat everything from the deli at Vallarta Supermarket. Vamos. You, you gotta say food in Spanish? Comer. Comer. No, comidas. wrong. Comer comida. Uh, so I feel start... like we gotta try the Mexican dishes uh, first. Try this is $8.99. Costillas de puerco. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is so tender. Look at this. Oh, it's falling apart. That's really tender. Kind of has like a seafood taste. Not completely unlike a pork stew. The meat is a little chewy, but it's tender enough to fall off the bone. I'll give it a four out of five. I'm gonna start at a 3.5 out of five. I'm gonna go with the 3.5 out of five. It really accentuated the flavor of the pork. This is the chili rano. I thought it was a piece of, I thought it was a chicken filet. This might be one of my favorite Mexican dishes. Chili ranos is like cheese and chili. Oh my gosh, look at that. Tell me that ain't fire. Oh my gosh. What does arroz mean? Arroz is pepper. It's rice. It's rice. It's testing, it's testing. <laughs> chili chili rellenos. One of my favorite dishes, bro. She, it's a big An egg. fat chili pepper. Slap on some some of that Mexican cheese. I give that a, um, a 3.5. I'm moving it up to a four. That I, was I give better it a three than the spare five. Tacos, and I believe you have the spinach and pork here. All right. Carnitas is pulled pork. Pulled pork. And salsa green verde sauce. is uh, green sauce. What what what's verde? Green sauce. Green. Verde is green. Oh, okay. Right. Just got one yep, bad yep, yep. Spanish speaker trying to school another bad Spanish speaker. I grab the carne asada taco. Let me grab uh, pollo. Pollo and then what? The carnitas? Tacos. Tacos. Mm. The flavor is actually really good. We put a ton of meat. Oh, I've been sitting there so it's a little dry. The flavor is really good though, I can tell. From my experience so far, I've had much better things at Vallarta than the tacos. For the chicken one, give it a 3.5. Chicken, uh, chicken was solid, three out of five. I give mine a, a three out of five. Here is the carnitas in salsa verde. Really good flavor. What do you like? The, you like the carnitas or you like the sauce? I like the sauce. The flavor is like a five out of five. Yeah, that flavor but, was good. But the carnitas quality, a little dry. For I give it a four too. That is still one of the best things I've had so far. I also think the carnitas pulled it down way too much. Let's so talk about the agrofrescas. This is a pineapple one. Wait, the green one? Yeah, I know. Trust me, it's pieces of pineapple. No this is the fruit medley. And David, you have the cantaloupe one. Fruit medley inside. You know what wow. I really like about these agua de frescas? These are really light and refreshing. They're not overly sugared. Guys, moving on, I'm to the hot bar. All right, guys, I'm eating the, 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 the beef barbacoa first. first. Barbacoa first. Kind of like a stew. So I'm gonna try the beef steak. Yeah, once. Mm. Beef steak. I mean, to no surprise, it was the sauciest. Time to try this chicken one. This is not bad. Lean. White meat. White meat. Blanco meat. It's right, the right, chicken it. for the gringos. Beef steak, barbacoa, pollo. Okay. Agree. Agree. This beef steak, though. This steak right here. Yo, you guys. You guys. Cinco out of cinco. Wow. wow. For the beef steak? On the beef steak. I would have to object, but, but I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. So you gave it a CS DA cinco. Uno, dos, Seis? Tres. Cuatro. It's cinco. Cuatro. I give it a cuatro. The chicken mole. This is a very, very Mexican dish. Ooh. There's a cinnamon. Whoa. That's deep. That's like a dark roux flavor. Have you guys ever had dark roux from like gumbo? You talking about down on a bayou? You talking about the roux? I'm talking about New Orleans gumbo. Oh, that was a flavor I haven't really had before. I 
can't say that I prefer it though. Still gotta give it a score though. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I start, I give it a one out of five. I, <laughs> I give it a 2.5 out of five. Fair For enough. the culture, I give it up. I'll slap you if you say a three. <laughs> I'ma slap you. <laughs> Uh, I'm a backhand, you right here. Tres! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the enchilada. I'm gonna get the Salvador rice. Right, because Salvador and rice and Mexican rice are different. Enchiladas. I blame That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I never had a cheese enchilada that traditional. With the cheese in the middle, normally they just put the cheese on top. I like the no beans. Sauce. Pork and spinach. Mm. Oh man, I'm torn. I was this close of giving it a score of Cinco. But wow. for how salty it was, I gotta dial it back down to a, like a four. Between you know? this and the beef steak, those two are fire. Yeah. Fuego. The pork Wait, is what spinach. are you giving it? What are you going? tripping on the pork What you going spinach. with? Let me go 4.5 on that. All right, me too then. Bro, guys, guys, spinach. guys, guys, I didn't give anything five yet. So what? So what? Cinco! Cinco! Out of the hot bar, make sure you get the pork and spinach, verde sauce, I mean it's green, and the beef steak. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh, chicken wing bar. Oh, uh, you guys, right. they actually have orange chicken. Oh, shit. Sure. Naranja or chicken. All right, man. This one right here? All right. Yeah. Is that really how you say orange? Naranja. Naranja. <laughs> <laughs> Naranja chicken. Okay. Definitely tastes different. I'm not mad at it. I like mm. how the batter is really soft. I wouldn't say it was super sweet. It was a little bit spicier. Wing we got the chicken wings. They're pretty good. They're really solid. They're pretty good. If these were fresh, this lemon pepper sucks though. <laughs> so I, give, I give it a three out of five. Three? Orange right. chicken three, wings three for me. Boom. This is actually one of their premier items. Pork. Pork, yeah. corn, chicken. Let's go. Pork tamale. Mm. You know, that's the one that reminds me the most of a tzunzu. Corn and corn tamale. Corny corn. Mmm. Oh, this is sweet. Hey. Nah, I'm dating my, this one. My prayers were answered. Okay, let's little try this other third one. Kitty. Chicken. Boil. I think this one's the best so far. Okay, but we got two more. All right, guys, poblano, tamale, and I got the beef one. Uh, David. Andrew's gonna pick that one, I bet. Oh, yep, yep, why? Nell's predicting. Why? why? Nell's predicting why? You what you to, like. So you try to predict what I like, just like you try to predict my moves when you guard me. No, no, it's because you told me your tactics. I like the cheese, though. The cheese is good. Oh, I'm not a fan of this one. This is this, this <laughs> not good. This is. <laughs> it's, it's no bueno. Not this one, not this one. Beef. Boo. Mm. What's your favorite tamale? I said uh, my favorite tamales were the sweet ones. Uh huh. Uh, I'm going with the beef. What right. do you think my favorite is, huh, Mr. Oh, predictor? Let me guess. Personality oh, predictor, Mr. Oh. Preference picker. Five, oh, oh, oh. four, three, two. What did we have? It was one. That, uh, the first Boom. one. Forget it. If you don't even remember, you can't say it. It was the chicken one. It oh, was yeah, the, the chicken, chicken one. one. Oh, no, 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 it was the one right there. No, it was you gonna say you Sir, know me and then you don't know me? This is strawberry banana, strawberry, and Horchata. This is a particularly light and refreshing version of horchata. Wow, oh. the chicharron! Oh, <laughs> Chicharrones, guys. True story. I was eating some very, very I crispy. I know this story. I was eating some very, very crispy Chinese pork. So crispy. And it was so crispy that it chipped one of my tooths. Ow. That's pretty good. I wasn't the biggest fan of chicharrones, but I gotta say, this is cool. 4.5 out of 5. I give it a 3. Yeah, I give it a 3.5. Some pork guts. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I lost my sight. <laughs> not bad. No, not bad. As far not as not the customs go. It just tastes like pork. Let's go. Let's do buffalo wings. It's a little bland. Not too no. buffalo -y. Okay, I got the roasted chicken. I got the spicy chicken. Are you hit me with the roasted? All right. Okay, roasted chicken. Oh. Now what do you think of the fried piece? Flavoring is good. On the skin? Chicken is kind of dry though. This flavoring is not bad, but it doesn't have a lot of spice to it. Jalapeno, jalapeno roll. roll. I'm cool with it. I'll tell you this, jalapenos and cream cheese go together very, very well. I give it a four out of five. I will give it a 3.5. Uh, here, sir. We also, we also have the bone. We offer the bone in rib, and then also the bone out. It's good and weird at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it looks weird. Lie. It looks weird. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a burnt wood, like after a fire. But it could be fire. <laughs> I think I like the American barbecue rib better. They didn't put a lot of flavor on it. No, there's no like. Okay, here they have the pico de gallo, classic. Pico de gallo. Here they have ceviche. This is the ceviche de camarón crudo chili. This is the ceviche. Cocktail, cocktail Cameron, aka the Mexican shrimp cocktail. Wow. 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 
That's real block. A one, A uno, ah hoo hoo. J first. What do you guys think about the tortilla chips? I know no one said anything yet. These are actually not my favorite tortilla chips, but that ceviche is good. I gotta be the best store bought ceviche I ever had in my Dog. life. This is like a gigantic fudge sundae oh. with shrimp. We lost one. Uh, mm. Oh, okay. oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Yo, that ceviche fun. was 4.5 out of 5. Maybe oh. 5 out of 5. I give it the ceviche oh. 5. Woo! Yo, before we get into the sweet section, and let me say, not you guys, for me, mm -hmm. my own individual person. I like things that have had the artisanal hands. I'm that look it. good. Nell, Nell is a uh, more of a fan of the robotic factory products. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Andrew's a sour guy. Andrew actually doesn't like sweets. Yeah, he's a sour guy. Oh, okay, <laughs> personality <laughs> leaders, all right. Everybody know what Andrew <laughs> likes, all right. I do like some sweets, just not too much. Tell me who had the most cavities growing up. I did. These are stuffed cookies. Everybody, I know the flavors, but, Please, but you, guys, you don't know. So, no, no say, so, no, no say. I'm no not gonna say, say. I think it's no say. It's no, it's no say. No say. Yeah. You said no say. This is your tone, you said uh, say. You guys done or you finished? <laughs> are you guys done or finished? We are going to have a competition oh, to see God. who can judge the flavor combinations. Correctly. Three, two, one, go. Caramel leches. It's a caramel cookie. It's caramel inside. Oh, so dry. It's <laughs> <laughs> chocolate, right? Okay. Don't say the leche, peanut butter fudge. Two, one, go. Chocolate cheesecake. Brown sugar. Oh. Pecan pie. <laughs> chocolate cheesecake. Okay. Woo! Right, three, two, one, go. Cranberry oatmeal, cranberry oatmeal. Raspberry oatmeal. Right? All right. All right. right. This is a slice of pineapple, or better yet, in Spanish, peanut. Sweet potato. These well, are all candy. I've never candy. seen a candied sweet potato. These are all candy. Look at this. Oh my. These are both pieces of squash and pumpkin. Wow. You see that shred? Uh, wow. 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 Okay. This is bread. Bread. Yeah. yeah I think a, it's bread, bro. Looks like guy made bao. And then this looks like bolo bao. Yeah, but pink bolo bao. It's yeah. a Hello Kitty bolo bao. This is, I think, what probably is considered the Mexican macaroon. Wow, that's good. The bread's good. The dough's good. Sweet potato. That's kind of nice. That's oh! <laughs> I ate like one strand and I thought it was nasty. This is flan napolitano. This is choco flan. And last but not least, the tres leches. Yeah. Shall we all try the original flan? I'm a fan of flan. It's not bad. It's like a fairly firm. There's different flans. I've definitely had different flans from different cultures. Chocolate, chocolate flan. flan. Wait, choco or chocolate? <laughs> It's good though, it's better than the regular pie. Oh, it's better. It's better than the regular pie. I good don't think so. Yeah. Wow! I don't think so. Yeah. It's yeah. two to one. Yeah. 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 Chocolate yeah. cake, boy. Mm -hmm. Last yeah. but not least, oh you guys. Oh my gosh. I have such high hopes for this one. Please do not disappoint me so because I love Tres Leches. Because Leches. It's good. It tastes good. But I would say it's a little more moist than others. The taste is there. I actually like this one better because it's actually lighter. All right, so, all right it's wrapped. All right, out of the three, which one's the best one? I'm gonna say one, two, three. Correct me if I'm, I'm wrong. going with the flan first. Wow. And Andrew, and Andrew, and Andrew, the Andrew had that flan. look on his eye. He about to... Uno, dos, tres. Boom. Quattro, cinco, tres, leches. Well, you know leches. what? You know what? I think this shows that you uh, goes to show people at home. It's okay to disagree with your friends. You know what it is? I, you know what I like is that you know we all kind of disagree on things sometimes, and we make fun of each other, and we get at each other, and try to predict each other's personalities. But really, what it comes down to is that we all are trying different things together. We're just trying new things, and we're just having fun doing it. And I thought it was a good experience overall. For me, I think it's really cool because growing up, I didn't eat you know a lot of these foods. You know, even though I grew up in like Lincoln Heights. For me, even for me, to try all these new different foods makes it I more accessible, have, right? Yeah, yes. I, I mean, I would say the same thing for you know the modern Asian markets, they're making it more accessible because obviously the ultra traditional, you know, more farmer's market, direct to consumer style, but it is daunting. Obviously when you present it in a very systematic, you know, commercialized way, it's a great transition point. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Shout out to Nelson Chan for Hooper Life. This is David and Andrew from the Fung Bros. Guys, let us know in the comments below. If there are any other supermarkets you guys want us to cover. And number two, make sure you let us know what you think about these new school ethnic markets in America that are kind of really designed to be accessible to everybody. Yeah. Are they keeping the culture? Keeping it traditional? Making it accessible? Sorry. Right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video. Subscribe to our channel. Turn on your notifications, please. Check out Nelson's channel. He plays basketball. All right, guys. Until next time, we out.
Adios. Adios. Jay, smooth. Smooth style. Jay, smooth. Just a...